Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run commands as a super user. So certain commands can't run unless there are a super user. You can think of it like if you come from, let's say, a more Windows style, you know, background, you can think of it like, you know, running as administrator. It's, it's essentially like that. So to run something as a super user, you put su do so, so sudo which just stands for super user do and then you put your regular command whatever the command is and you can technically run sudo on any sort of command most commands probably don't need it hence why you won't see it online with the sudo but there's no reason why you can't so let me show you a command update db which i've covered in a earlier video this updates the local database this cannot be done without super user do so without the you know super user permission so sudo update db and now it's asking for my password so this is the password of my user account on this computer and i'm typing it in but you're not seeing anything you're not seeing the actual password you're not seeing you know asterisks to cover up the password but it is getting typed in so just bear that in mind i click enter and it successfully executed that command. Okay, so that is pretty darn cool. So what happens if I try and run that command again? It's not asked for my password. So it basically has a timeout system where after X amount of time, it will ask for the password again, or if I basically shut down terminal and reopen it, and I run that command, now it will ask me for my password. If you essentially want to go into root mode you can do sudo dash s as you can see you are now in root mode to exit that you just type in exit and now you are outside of root mode apart from that nothing more to it in terms of the sudo command what i would say is if you see online some command for maybe installing or setting up some software and they're not working try putting the sudo command in front of it sometimes that helps fix it and sometimes I find some tutorials doesn't act don't actually put sudo. Maybe their environment was set up in a certain way that it didn't need it or they just forgot. So just try sudo if you know the command doesn't work and everything else seems to work okay. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.